Hi there, this video is a special one and it shows gameplay footage from the TCG Fatal Core. It's an open beta browser based trading card game that is also going to be available in a client uh, in the near future. But uh, right now you can just play it on the browser. It's completely free to play. All the cards that you earn are going to be there based on your skill. You can uh, trade with other players. You can unlock more cards just by playing. It's a pretty fun game and um, I will let you check it out. Okay, so you get to choose between a couple of types, Joan, Jedo, Prisoner 218, Hush, Kahar, and Maldiva. So you might wonder what are the differences between the things. Each hero, each archetype, sorry, has a different way of uh, having the board layout. Pretty much, you have six spaces on your board. Each board space is going to give you a different buff and sometimes a debuff. And once a minion dies on a board space, you get a dead body that occupies it and then until you get the card that clears out the dead body. It's very interesting and the way it works is like um, more intuitive once you play the game. But for example, this one is very balanced. It has plus zero, plus one, plus zero, plus two. It, it, it says there, creatures played on this space have plus zero power and two health. Okay, I'll play the mild. Let's get started. You start the game by hiding two cards. Basically, you see your opponent's hand but both you and your opponent can hide two cards that uh, none of uh, the others are going to be able to see. This one, maybe. Target a row on your opponent's board, deal free damage to each creature on that row. That's, one, that's something I want to hide. I don't want them to know. So see, for example, I get to see my opponent's hand, but I see two cards face down that they chose to put face down. I see they have like a free free. They have a spell. They have the spell that I chose to like not show. And then they have this, which is just two seven. Wow. Pretty strong. End of turn, summon a fractal pro, uh, pawn to an empty space on your board. If you control only this creature, give minus one, minus one to all opposing creatures. So it sounds like a great one to play initially. I'll play it on the plus one, plus one, or should I play it on the plus two, minus two? Maybe it's too much of a payoff minus two attack. Let's put it on plus one, plus one. That's like the vanilla way of playing. Also, another thing about this game, both players do their turns simultaneously. So I do my turn, my opponent does the, their turn, and then you see what the opponent decided to do. You get an instant modifier from the field bonus. It's pretty interesting. You have to do some quick maths to be able to like calculate things. And see, he dealt four to me, I dealt five to him. And then my guy activates, okay. We both took damage. Okay. <laughs> I, I was close, second try. I, I, I get the bonus. Press the advantage. Do I really have a big advantage right now? So, this does end of turn summon a fractal pawn to an empty space on your board. So basically, it's a minion that summons another minion. Cool. I'm not sure if casting the spell was the best, but it kills his guy. I guess it's good. See, when a minion dies, they're permanently dead until they decide to clean the board. And there are cards that basically clean the dead body from the board. Mana Magnet means that, uh, it says there in the middle, when opponent casts a spell, your creature with Mana Magnet sacrifices itself. Blocking the spell. I don't know if I want to block spells right now. Let's play it there. So I'm blocking that thing. Waiting for opponent. He's buffing and debuffing, but his guy is died because of this guy. This guy is stacking. He's hard carrying so far. Oh, it was just showing me the basics. Basically, it forced me into playing the, the card that blocks the spell just to show me what the card that blocks the spell does. I like that. It doesn't waste uh, that much time. So, the way you buy packs is with in-game currency that you get from playing and from logging in. If you just go on the site right now, you're already gonna get like a lot of um, points that you can then use to buy packs. And it, you even get like the rarity of like um, what is within every single pack. Let me open a couple of packs for the lulz. I'll try to like play mostly with like the initial decks. I, I kind of suck at deck building, so I don't want to venture too much into the deck building thing. Maybe a little bit after we play um, some games. The card art is pretty interesting. And yeah, you can skip it. You can just click, 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 click. I'm pretty sure there's like a better way to do it, but if you want to like enjoy watching the packs, and I think this pack is worse because it's like five and this one is a hundred and you have like 3000 when you just make an account and more for like logging in and just playing. And there's like a leaderboard. I haven't played it, but I'll play later. Uh, let's go play against the Yale player. Let's hide the Psy and then play it on turn one. That's a nifty strategy and let's hide the inner demons. I like this. Oh, we play against the spell counter thing. So now the most important card of my deck is the guy that counters the mana magnet. The guy that is anti-mana magnet is absolute best. Hopefully my minion can kill his minion at the end of the turn. Yes! We kill it, right? Do we kill it? Oh, he is. Yes, he's nice. Wait, 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 why did my guy die? Why did my guy die? Huh? Oh, if I kill a minion, he erases himself. Mm. 
Okay, otherwise it would be too good, right? Imagine reading my card. Making it soulless was huge. Card is annoying. And I blocked his MM position as well. If it's soulless, he doesn't have the MM, right? Please tell me he doesn't have MM if it's soulless. That way I can actually win with the Doomed Army. Let's go for Tempo. Tempo Witch. Mm, he's making tokens. We cannot Inner Demons, right? Because he doesn't have enough. Not enough attack. Next turn, I definitely want to play the Doomed Army. So that means we should Shadow Stray here. And next turn, Doom Army. Right? Makes sense to me. I can call him attacking him there. Oh, I want to hide this. By the way, you can because you can see your opponent's hand, you can also see when they hide the card. So if they draw a card and they hide it, you could make the read that that card is like very dangerous and powerful. I think first you need to understand all the cards in the game. And then you need to understand how to read your opponent's hand. That matters a lot in this game from what I can see. Let's go for the army. If his MM is not working, I should be able to go for the army here. And deploy it. And then I'll just go on AoE. And then I'll try to go damage into damage. By the way, if I want to play this, I should play it soon. Because it's, it's pointless to render their spells uh, to turn 8. After turn 8. So this card should be played soon. Maybe next turn. We'll see how it goes. Let's deploy the army and see if that uh, works so successfully. He's erasing the cores, but that doesn't help. This thing is getting too big. I'm barely dealing damage to him, why is that? I wanna try to kill that. Hopefully he will not health buff it. Nice. Nice, we killed it! Okay. Now I can hunt to clear. Hunt is really good. Ah, Mana Blaze and especially Sensory Overload, I just feel like I don't even have enough time to play them. I need better Legendaries or S level cards, however you would like to call them. I feel like both are kind of underwhelming. Is he winning? I guess, a little bit. A little bit more than other games. My opponent has a lot of corpses, so I'm a little bit ahead of uh, that on board. I'm still not dealing that much damage. Haraban is good. What is this doing? You raise all corpses on your board. Oh, this seems good and it's a neutral. Maybe I should play it as well. Ain't bad. Let's tremor his row. This guy has like 8 health and no attack. <sighs> nice, he plays one more target for my spell. You have activated my trap card! I should play the card that he draws now. Try to get going into something better. Haraban is gonna kill his mana magnet, so he cannot play a mana magnet, right? Okay, I'm dealing more than him. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. The comeback is real. Let's go. We want to replace the useless ones. Mana Blaze, we can still keep it as a finisher. Basically, we deal 15 now, 15 next time to win. I definitely don't need this or this. This can be useful or more useful than the others. 
We have to end the game quickly because he's going into turn 12 and he has more health. But now I'm just going for the burst. I'm going for the finishing blow. My board deals more damage than his board. So there's that. I assume we can kill each other at the same time, right? Wait, what happens if I just burst him with 15? Do the... does the... the, the do the minions still attack? I don't know if they do. Let's see. Okay, I went for lethal. My spell deals 15. So I should just insta win, right? I don't even think it goes to minion combat. If it goes to minion combat, I still don't see him dealing 15. He has 7 on the board right now. The attack is depicted in the bottom left of each card. Maybe I should have read more into the opponent effects. You can target the card twice or more with redraw if you don't want to redraw more than one. Oh, okay. So you can redraw how many cards you want. Interesting. So we still go to minion combat. Guys, I want to say something. We won. One game. Are you proud of me? I want to save the replay. I downloaded the replay. It downloads like a text uh, a text file that shows the log, the combat log. Pretty interesting. This was Fatal Core. Thank you for checking it out. Uh, don't forget, links in description as usual. You can uh, check out their Discord. You can uh, join the beta test right now. They're looking for beta testers. And um, it's all free. You can just uh, check it out, make an account, try it a little bit. If you like it, uh, uh, they also have some tournaments uh, lined up for October from what I heard. And... Um, Again, this game might not be the level of polish that you expect. It's an indie game, again. But it's 100% free. It's skill-based. It will stay the same. They'll get a Steam client. They'll get future upgrades. So give it a try if you like card games. Um, that was it. Thank you for watching the video. Have a nice day, and I'll see you later.